Here's how to maximize space in your bedroom. Why bedrooms aren't just for sleeping anymore. Maybe you're working from home more often, or you need a place to retreat from the world. Here's how to make your bedroom do double or triple duty. With a little planning, your bedroom can function as more than just a place to sleep. William Hefner, a designer in Los Angeles, put a sofa-like bed in his son's room, along with a shelving unit that has a fold-down top for doing homework. Making the most of whatever space you have is just good sense. Whether you've recently bought your dream home or, like many people, are staying put until the housing market calms down. The obvious place to start? Your bedroom. Sure, it's used for sleeping at night, but what about the rest of the time? With a little planning, it could double as a home office or maybe a library or a playroom. It could even be a place to make cappuccino. It's something we're being asked to do more and more, said Sean Anderson, an interior designer based in Memphis. A lot of it has stemmed from the shift in the past couple of years to remote work. The bedroom needs to be this place of solitude, but it also needs to be multifunctional. People want a spot to lounge, a spot to work, and, obviously, a place to sleep. William Hefner, an interior designer in Los Angeles, said he gets similar requests from frazzled parents who want their bedrooms to serve as a retreat. They can close that door to do some work or some exercise, he said, or make some coffee or open a bottle of champagne. So what's the best way to turn your bedroom into a multifunctional space? He and other designers shared their secrets. In a primary bedroom that Nicole Hirsch designed, there's room for a home office and an alcove. Install a desk. The most obvious addition to a bedroom is a place to work. When Nicole Hirsch, a designer in Wellesley, Massachusetts, was tasked with designing a new primary suite for a couple, a desk where they could catch up on email and write letters was at the top of their wish list. Ms. Hirsch obliged by opening up an alcove in the bedroom with windows overlooking the yard and adding a custom-made desk with built-in cabinetry, a space for light work. Sean Anderson, a designer in Memphis, often puts a small desk right beside the bed, so it can do double duty as a nightstand and a place to work. To maintain a calm feeling in the bedroom, she made sure there were no filing cabinets, printers, whiteboards, or computer monitors left out in the open. It's more of a casual desk space, she said. Mr. Anderson, the Memphis designer, often uses small-scale desks in the bedrooms he designs to create similar spaces for occasional work. So many people are now working with laptops, iPads, and phones that having a space for all those devices to land is something they're asking for, he said. In compact bedrooms, he might place a small desk beside the bed so that it doubles as a nightstand. When we don't have the real estate for a separate area, it becomes this multifunctional piece, he said. Use a Murphy bed. If you need more workspace or the room in question is used for overnight guests, consider installing a Murphy bed that can be tucked away during the day. Once seen as impractical, Murphy beds have been growing in popularity in recent years as new mechanisms make them easier to operate, said Mike Cassidy a director at California Closets. Multi-use seems to be a bigger consideration than it was before COVID, Mr. Cassidy said. As we're settling into whatever this new normal is, the need for multifunctional spaces hasn't slowed down. The designer Annie Zelka, for example, had California Closets install a Murphy bed in a home office at her vacation house in Palm Springs, California, which allowed the space to double as a guest room. Ariel Gordon, a jewelry designer, outfitted a backyard work-from-home studio with a Murphy bed from California Closets for the same reason. Create a lounge. How about retreating to your bedroom to cozy up by a fireplace? For one lucky couple, Ms. Hirsch designed a primary bedroom with a pair of chairs and footstools next to a wood-burning fireplace, as well as a seating area with a sofa and coffee table that makes the room feel like a private refuge. In smaller bedrooms, even a generous armchair paired with a small end table and floor lamp can offer a comforting place to read. A bedroom can easily double as a media room as well, but most designers